And this is best observed in the context of drug seeking behavior. The first time someone decides to take cocaine or amphetamine, they may do it out of boredom. They may do it out of peer pressure. They may do it to relieve some internal sense. Maybe they're bored or they're just excited. Maybe they're high in novel, novelty seeking. There are a lot of reasons why people might try a drug. Far too many for us to, you know, to get into or parse here. Maybe they don't even want to do it, but someone encourages them. They will experience a huge dopamine release and they will feel likely very good. However, the next time they take it, it won't feel quite as good and it won't feel even as good the third time or the next time. But the amount of pain, the amount of craving that they experience for the drug will increase over time. So much of our pursuit of pleasure is simply to reduce the pain of craving. So the next time you experience something you really like, I don't want to take you out of that experience, but it's really important that you notice this, that if there's something you really enjoy, part of that enjoyment is about the anticipation and wanting of more of that thing. And that's the pain system in action. 